guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are watching this video, this means that you are very curious about the things that I'm actually telling to you on this channel. And also you are here most probably because you watched my previous video about typical Norwegian Easter. And in that video, I told you that there's going to be a video about where the interesting things Latvians are actually doing during Easter. And now it's time to dive into Latvian Easter traditions. We eat quite a lot of boiled eggs during Easter and it's a big deal. But these are not just like simple boiled eggs, these are dyed eggs. It dates back to the pagan traditions. Usually a family or friends are gathering together, everyone picks up like their own eggs and are uh, working on their own eggs because uh, everybody wants to have the cutest egg at the end. Typical Latvians would dye the eggs with some natural materials and the most common natural material that people are usually using for dyeing eggs is onion peel. So it's quite simple, you put onion peels in boiling water and the water colors into brown and then you put down the eggs and boil them in uh, onion peel water. And the result is quite interesting with different patterns and yeah, it's kind of, you never know what kind of uh, pattern there's going to be on your egg. Another thing people are using for dyeing eggs uh, from natural materials is beet. Also they are using woolen yarns because they also give some kind of color. Uh, you can put some kind of branches, something green that gives a green color, etc, etc. Now after the eggs are ready, it's time to do the egg fight. Yes, Latvians uh, have this tradition of fighting with eggs. So you have now this beautiful egg that you have dyed. You just fight with other family members or friends or whatever. Uh, people are dividing into pairs and usually they hit one egg against the other egg. And the egg that cracks is the loser, the egg that wins is the winner. Latvians are quite like passionate about this fight and it is also believed that the winner of the egg fight will most probably live the longest life. So yeah, I think this kind of explains why Latvians are so crazy about this game. And speaking about crazy, actually some people are taking this egg fight so seriously that they secretly uh, create a fake egg like from wood they create a wooden egg, they dye it so it looks like a natural egg and of course this egg is going to win the fight because it's made from wood. It cannot compare to a, a simple boiled egg. So yeah, egg fight, that's a big deal in Latvia during Easter. And then there is a game that's kind of similar to egg bowling. So you take some kind of board and create an elevated trail and then you just roll down your eggs and when you roll down your egg and at the end if it touches another egg then you can take the egg that uh, your egg touched so you finish with two eggs but if you roll down your egg and your egg doesn't touch any of the eggs at the end this means that you have lost your egg and the egg is going to stay there for somebody else to win it. This is quite a popular game among kids, but uh, sometimes adults also get very passionate and emotional about this game, believe me. When you are eating an egg during Easter, you should always, always use salt. Latvians believe that if you are eating a boiled egg and you do not sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, then you are going to lie throughout all of the following year. So if you don't want to be a liar, uh, do sprinkle your salt on egg, especially if you are celebrating Easter in Latvia. Speaking about crazy superstitions, there is this one scene that you will definitely notice during Easter in Latvia. People on swings. And I'm not talking about children only. This applies also to adults. I mean, 
You can swing at least for five or 10 seconds, but you just have to do that. Because Latvians believe that if you swing during Easter time, then during the summer, insects will not bother you. They're quite annoying. This is why almost all Latvians are taking the chance and going to entertain themselves on swings because they don't want to see those insects around them during summer. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed some of the, the Latvian traditions during Easter time. Write down in comments if any of these actually apply also to your country and your traditions during Easter time. Just reminding that I'm actually really enjoying making these kind of videos uh, where I'm researching the cultures and traditions. And if you want me to do that more, write down in comments. I will be very happy to know your opinion. And meanwhile, enjoy your Easter with whatever traditions are you doing or maybe you are doing any traditions you're just chilling out at home that's also good so yeah sending you lots of love don't forget to subscribe to the channel press the notification bell put those likes below this video and see you next time